everybody and welcome to Tell Is Rich, the Die Hero Edition. Okay, so this is a game made by Paradox Interactive. Um, I picked it up on Green Man Gaming for £1.80 using a 20% off voucher and it's worth it, let me just tell you that. Um, so, uh, yeah, um, so this game literally does not play to anything it's so easy to find everything you require in this it's a cakewalk basically um, so the computer that I'm using the like really really shitty gold one that I've got because my laptop blew up um, actually can run it and I'm able to record it so you know <laughs> so uh, um, in the meantime until I get a new computer I'm going to be doing a let's play on this basically uh, just, just going to go there ok so um facility head scientist who used to be the semi-famous rapper back on earth before she involved in Mars systems theory and the universe started her scientific career. It packs a stronger punch than the pistol but is totally inaccurate for long distances. The ex-head scientist was a close friend of mine and fortunately left her position as an abusive one to see the six months ago. She also gave her, me her pink death before leaving the video. I never knew I would have that to do with. <laughs> okay, so I've actually, um, because it was so cheap, uh, actually went onto the DLC for it as well, which um, allow, uh, give you a, wep a new we uh, starting weapon every single game that you play. So, um, you know, you never start with the same weapon twice. Uh, the game is a roguelike, uh, meaning that it features permadeath. Um, there is absolutely no way to save it as far as I'm aware. So once you clear a level, it will be cleared um, and you will be able to go on to the next one uh, and it's randomly generated um, randomly generated weapons every time you play so it's pretty fucking awesome <laughs> um, and it's
sounds awesome. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Um, so I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm yet to kind of really make it to this. I, I, I recorded one game and I played it again. Experience was too near. You're God, that is the second time I did that. The first time I recorded it, I died by being killed by a nail mod, and it was funny as that. So bad. Well, I can't believe I just did that. Well, there you go, guys. That is Teleglitch, and I will be doing a Let's Play on this until I get a PC for it. Um, that won't be until about. gives me plenty of time to play this I guess uh, and oh oh yeah accuracy 55.6% secrets found zero items combined zero monsters in the void I have no idea what that means and I killed my first big new zerg so we took more than three shotguns to the face oh dear so yeah it's not 100% guaranteed, so please don't like uh, put your hopes up on it or stick too close to my words. But um, as I practically have done with all of them, uh, I chances are will be doing a Let's Play on Kyle this week um, because I just I want to record something, and it's killing me not being able to. So. Let's just quickly check on my first mod. Hello. Okay. The M3 Large Mutant, which is a fully grown version of the M1. Okay. The growing process transforms it from bug like into a humanoid form. The M3 has two legs and several arms that end in crooked claws that can be taken from shotguns to the face. The final version of the creature was designed to be super poisonous and to use ranged weapons for the full range. Oh right, I've got it, but, but fortunately both features were still removed in the Teleglitch mod, so I've got chat and all sorts of things, so it's just not going to be there. I still think it's going to have ranged weapons as well. I do. <laughs> okay, I will see you guys tomorrow. Uh, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Uh, bye.